In Burlington, business owners and community members are celebrating the legalization of retail cannabis dispensaries. ABC 22's Lily Sakaniwa attended the event to mark one full year and spoke with Series Collaborative, the hosts. It's been one year since recreational cannabis dispensaries became legal in Vermont, and the local community is out celebrating today. Can't let it go. City Hall Park is buzzing with live music, games, and local cannabis vendors eager to share their excitement about this milestone. You know, I'm sure a lot of people 10, 15, 20 years ago didn't think, you know, legal weed would be a real thing. Sarah's Collaborative's marketing manager, Corey Ayotte, says today's event is a celebration of not only how far they've come, but looking forward to the future. A lot of people are kind of catching on and realizing, you know, what works for them and what doesn't. People are starting to figure out, you know, it's, there's no stigma, there's, you know, there's no bad to cannabis. There's a lot of benefits to it. The event is part of Sarah's year-round mission to foster community through cannabis-centered events. We're doing our part to get the best product and knowledge as far as cannabis is concerned. People are enjoy cannabis, whether for medical purposes or recreation or a combination thereof, really um, are thankful for the, the products we're supplying. The lineup for this family-friendly event includes games, performances by local musicians, and staff on site to help answer any questions people may have. I have a lot of pain in my back and hips and legs, and it's very helpful to me. It's an entirely different now, and particularly among the younger people. They are in favor of it, and that's why laws have changed. Ayat says while this is a big step towards removing stigma from recreational cannabis, more education work is still needed. In Burlington, Lily Sakaniwa, ABC 22 News.